Let's look at a problem about the human eye. A nearsighted person notices that the closest they can read their cell phone screen clearly without their glasses is 25 centimeters. When they put their glasses on, that distance moves out to 40 centimeters from their eyes. If the glasses sit 3 centimeters in front of their eyes, what is the strength of their prescription in diopters? So let's remember how glasses work for nearsighted people. So nearsighted people can see clearly in a certain range from their near point to their far point. So everything from here to there will be clear, but in here it's fuzzy, beyond here it's fuzzy. So if a person is trying to look at something that's farther away than the far point, uh, they don't see it clearly. So they will have to be given um, diverging lenses, glasses, and what those glasses do is they bring the image of that far object to where the naked eye can see it. So this object will form an image through this lens at the point where the naked eye then can see it. So let's interpret the problem that we have here. We are told that the distance from um, the person's near point to the the eyes is 25 centimeters. And then we're also told that that near point moves further back to 40 centimeters. But the glasses sit three centimeters in front of the eye, so then we have to convert those distances with respect to the glasses, not with respect to the eye. Now, the other problem that we're having is that we have to figure out which of these distances is going to be the um, object distance and which is the image distance. So what you should know is that the purpose of glasses is to form an image at the near point or at the far point or in the range in between, but we're just going to look at the extremes. So the image has to be at the near point, which means that the image distance is the distance from the near point of the eye to the glasses. So that is the 25 centimeters minus the, th the 3 centimeters. The other thing that we have to realize is that we're bringing an object that starts on the left through the glasses, forming an image on the left, on the same side as the object, which means that the image distance will be negative. So the image distance through the glasses is going to be negative 25 minus 3, or negative 22 centimeters. Then the object distance through the glasses was the 40 centimeters, but we have to take away the 3 centimeters from the eye, and that will be um, 37 centimeters. Now the problem is asking us to solve for the prescription in diopters, and that would be the refractive power, which is 1 over the focal length in meters. So we'll have to convert all of our other quantities into meters. So 1 over f is 1 over do plus 1 over di, and that is 1 over 0 0.37 meters plus 1 over negative 0 0.22 meters. And if we plug in the numbers, we end up with negative 1.84 diopters. Now, if you go to the eye doctor and get glasses, they will give you um, prescriptions that are in uh, increments of quarter diopters. So maybe you'll get a prescription that's negative 1.75 or maybe negative 2, but not negative 1.84. But in our problem, that is the value that we would actually get. Now, uh, in the second part, we want um, to, to find the farthest distance they can see clearly without their glasses. So what this means is that we want to look as far away as possible, and that distance would be infinity. And um, knowing the, f the focal length, we want to find the image distance that um, the glasses would um, display that image at. 
So then we have 1 over f is 1 over do plus 1 over di. So the object distance, we want it to be as far away as possible, so we'll set it equal to infinity. So then we have 1 over infinity plus 1 over di. Now we know that 1 over f is negative 1.84 inverse meters or diopters, and that's going to be then 0 plus 1 over di, which means that di is 1 over negative 1.84, so we get negative 0 0.54 meters from the glasses. But the glasses are 3 meters away from the eye, which means that the eye is going to be negative 0 0.57 meters from the eye. And this image distance is the focal point, sorry, the far point.